When in Rome, Part A. Listen to Andrew, Rachel, and Layla talking about their experiences abroad. Answer the questions. 1. Andrew. When I was in college, I spent a semester studying in London. And even though we speak the same language, English people and people from the U.S. are very different. I guess I felt that people from the U.S. have a. Uh, bad reputation. Some people think we're loud and that we speak our minds too much. So I tried to listen a bit more and not be so assertive, if that makes sense. I wanted to make a good impression. I suppose I shouldn't have worried about it, but I did. And you know, I think it worked somehow. I loved the lifestyle in London. During my free time, I had a lot of fun playing soccer with my British friends. Of course, they call it football over there. And I really loved the old buildings. I mean, they're really old. We don't have anything that old in the U.S., so that part was pretty amazing. Another thing was TV. The British have a different sense of humor, very dry. I really like it. Their comedy shows are really funny. I'd have to say my experience was a positive one overall, except for the rainy weather, of course. I had trouble getting used to that. 2. Rachel. I lived in Madrid for a whole year. And I have to be honest and say that at first, well, I wasn't very happy. You see, I was homesick. I missed my family and I just wanted to go home. Part of the problem was my Spanish. I couldn't communicate very well. But I love to eat. And that's what really saved me. I tried tapas. Those small plates of food with bite sized portions that they serve in places all over the city. There were so many kinds fried squid, sausages, olives, all kinds of meat and seafood and sauces. Oh, it makes me hungry just thinking about it. And of course, tapas are meant to be shared with other people, so it's really fun. I made some Spanish friends, and we'd go out for tapas all the time. So I got to eat a lot of delicious food. And of course, my Spanish improved dramatically as well. But there was one thing that was difficult to adjust to, and that was that dinner was always served at a late hour. I wasn't used to eating at 11 o'clock at night. 3. Layla. I came to the US from the Middle East. My family opened up a restaurant here. At first, I found it difficult. Everything seemed so different. Just using public transportation, for example, Or going to a doctor was so different. I was pretty overwhelmed, and I guess because I wasn't feeling comfortable, I tended to make friends only with people from my country. I felt like I was living in a bubble, separated from the rest of the people all around me. But once I started feeling more confident about my English, I started meeting local people. I found them very friendly and open, and it turned out to be very easy to make friends. But there was one thing about people from the US that bothered me at first. I found it hard to get used to the way they talk so much about themselves. It took me a long time to understand that you were supposed to talk about yourself too, because that is how people get to know one another. It's still hard for me to talk a lot about myself, but I'm getting better at it.